Okay, to catch everybody up on the turtle egg saga that's been happening this summer, our neighbors, Maya and Kana, saved some turtle eggs that were being thrown around on a beach, brought them here, we incubated them, and they started hatching just recently. We got snapping turtles and mac turtles. We released as many as we could in our first hatching video. And for today, in part two, we have more babies that are hatching and ready for release. been a couple of days since we released the turtles in the first video from the mystery eggs that came out. So in today's video we have two big things to try to resolve. We have to figure out if there is in fact a third species of turtle in this group of eggs that were saved, and we have to decide what to do with the deformed babies. First, let's take a look at the new babies that have come out. Some of the babies in here are the ones you've already seen that weren't ready for release. It looks like here's a new map turtle that came out. Aww, we've got another map turtle. Oh, and he's ready to go. He absorbed yeah, his holy yolk. You're really pretty. What's up with this snapper though? Yeah. Is this guy... Uh oh. Um, oh, looks like one hatched, but then died after hatching. Oh, he's got the hook tail. Oh, oh the it's hooktail that one. baby. Interesting. Okay. Well, yeah, he never absorbed his yolk before last time, and oh, yeah. he still didn't absorb it. Still so. didn't absorb it. So it looks like he passed away. But I mean, in nature, he would have hatched, come out, and then died. So I think what we should do is we should bring him and just leave him out in the at the release site yeah, so let that something have him. Yeah, he can still contribute back to nature in a way. It's too bad he didn't make it, but that doesn't mm. really surprise me with the deformities he had. All right, so I'll just put you back How about there. our special little guy over here? Yeah, the special needs turtle. <laughs> Go away, map turtle. <laughs> Sorry, map turtle. <laughs> How about you? Oh, he's got movement. Oh, he's still alive. Is he sucked in all this yolk? Not all of it. Not Looks of like it. some of that might be necrotic or dead tissue. Hmm, mm, I don't know. I think, should we just cull him so he doesn't suffer? I mean, he was moving around when I went down to check on him. Oh, was he? Yeah. You know, he doesn't seem to be in pain. I mean, he's kicking his feet around and acting, behaving normally. Yeah. Should we give him a couple more days here? Sure, let's give him a couple more days and see if that necrotic tissue does anything or if uh, anything happens to him. Maybe he'll get stronger, maybe he'll get weaker. Either way, we can figure out what to do with him then. I mean, regardless, it looks like he's got like scoliosis going on here too. Like he is all sorts of funky. Yeah. Um, I think regardless, he wouldn't survive in the wild. So if he is one that we think has a chance in captivity, maybe he could just be... A captively cap snapper but yeah, especially since he doesn't have eyeballs yeah he wouldn't live in the wild at all yeah. but if he is something that we decide to call we'd still bring him outside like what we're gonna yep. do with that one okay so let's give him a few more days we won't bring him today okay let's we want to candle these really quickly and sure uh, see what ones are good or bad and see what else we possibly yeah. can bring if there's anything else otherwise this might be pretty much over with wait this is the container that had the two big eggs that's one of them oh there's one two three hatched here that looks like a big egg. That must... So that was either the map turtle or this snapper. Well, he came from this bin. Oh, that's right. We moved him over. So, so it was a map been, turtle. Yeah, it must have been the map turtle. Oh, Is so they're... the same kind of map turtle? Uh, yeah. It's just another false map. Huh. All right. So maybe the big eggs are just map turtles? Maybe. Well, I guess we'll have to see when that one hatches, if it's something else. All right. Just have unusually large eggs. Yeah, let's candle some. Oh, yeah, oh, there's still something in there. That looks good. What are you, are you going to be another map turtle? It's not cloudy or anything either, no. so that's good. Yeah, how about you? That's dead. Yep, should we dispose Oops. of any? We probably could. I mean, it still looks like a good egg, though, is the only thing. Well, maybe we could keep them, I guess. Oh, that's really red. It's really red, but it looks yellow outside. So, I don't, I don't know. Which ones should we toss, if any? That one doesn't look good to me. Yeah, this one's pinched in. And I don't there's see no, anything in yeah, there. Yeah, there's no masses, no veins. Right. So that one's bad. We're going to toss that one. How about this kind of moldy one? I don't see any veins on that one either. Yeah, and it's dented in. Okay, yep. going to toss that one. That one's no debate. This one... That one's completely yellow. Yeah. Yep, no debate. That's our, that's our motto. Incubate until there's no debate. And there's some here that there's no debate on. Uh, I don't know about this one, though. Maybe hold on to that one. Yeah. Sure. There... Oh, wait. There's Is a turtle there... down there. There's a turtle down there. Are you the third species? Oh, look at that tail. <laughs> I think this is a snapper. Come here. No. Oh, it is a snapping turtle. Look at you. You look healthy. 
Have you? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's good to go. All right, so we can take him and the map turtle out. Come here, little dude. We'll put them in our bin of moss. Traveling bin. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, that was a surprise. Yeah, really. Um, I don't think there's any other, well, maybe this one. Yeah, that one yeah, can probably get tossed. I, think, I don't see veins in that one. No veins and it's molding a bit. So there's nothing developing. Sadly, this turtle, I mean, I'll put him in the to-go bin. Yeah, he's gonna go up there. Nothing. Nothing. No, no veins. No, no veins. Nothing. We would have at least seen veins by now with how yeah, long well, they've... Look at this one again. Look at how clear those veins are. Yeah. Like the liquid's clear on the inside, as you can see. There's veins, there's actually something moving in there. That little black spot just moved its foot. Aww. I'm really curious what's in there. Now let's see if there's any turtles in here. Okay, no more babies. We're gonna leave him in there for a few more days before we decide what to do. And let's check out the other bin. Second bin. Now this was the one that all of them hatched in. Yeah. As you can see, like shell, 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 shell. Yeah, I guess we could take all those out. Yep. Okay, are there any turtles in here right now? I looked underneath, I didn't see anything, but. Just eggs. So let's take a look. Weird, that one's red. That one's like orange red. That oh, that one's like clear yellow. Yes, it is. Look at that. There's. No sign of life in there. What's, oh wait, never mind. There's like a blob at the bottom, but there's no veins. Any of these good? I'd imagine that these two white ones are still... Both yellow. No, yellow. Where's... Well, look at the bottom here. Yeah. Like, what's that? Just be where everything's settled. Maybe. All right, should we just let this, this bin sit sure. a bit longer? Sure, we can let it sit for another week, and if, I don't see, if we don't see any veins by then, I think it's unfortunately time to let them go. Yeah, I but, think so too. But hey, we have two babies yeah, we to two release. two babies we're bringing out there, and then we still have to figure out what's going to happen with this little guy. Yeah, we'll have to come back to him. Yeah. But we'll... for now, let's release baby turtles. Like the other turtles from this clutch that, or from these clutches that we released in the other video, which by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, you probably should, it'll make a lot more sense where all these are coming from but we are releasing these as close as we can to where their eggs were laid since they were laid on an island we can't get to the island because we don't have a boat and the island has essentially or that nesting spot has essentially been destroyed um, since the eggs were collected anyway so we found a great little offshoot from the river that they were laid in so let's let them go where are the babies? Okay, let's start with this guy so we can end on a positive note. Here's the one that hatched and then passed away. I'm thinking if this were to have happened in the wild, he would have hatched, traveled a little bit, and probably died. I think he would have made it to the water. Um, I don't think he would have made it out of the hole, but that's true. If should he we... would, I bet he would have made it into the water. Should we put him like at the water's edge? I would put him just deep enough because it's going to be fish food or bird food. That's true. So. All right. Well, I'll just set him like here on top of these leaves. Something can find him and eat him and then he can still be part of nature. It's too bad that he that he passed away but with the deformities that he had it doesn't really surprise me. And now he can be a nutritious meal for something else. Maybe one of the gulls flying by, maybe a fish, who knows. But he can at least be part of nature still. Yep. And then let's let these cuties go. Here is the snapping turtle baby. You're so, so cute. Look at his little face. He does not look enthused. No, he doesn't. Here, dude, check out wilderness. There's the wild. Let's see what he does if I set him in. He's gonna sit there. There you go. Go explore. And then the second and last one for today is the false map turtle baby. He's ready to go. Oh, you're so Put me down. Put me down. Okay. There you go, buddy. Go. Oh, oh he wow. He's ready. Look at him go. And he's gone. Yeah, I don't even see him anymore. Meanwhile, the snapping turtle is still right there. Oh, he's sticking his head up. Oh, he is. Well, there weren't many to release. Today. Oh, he's still stirring up the water. Oh, oh there's he his head. Aw. Hey, dude. Well, only two to release today, and hopefully, when some more hatch, we will actually have Maya and Kana with us since they were the ones who initially saved their eggs. We want them to at least be here, distanced, of course, while we release the last few turtles from the, from the salvaged eggs. So, we'll see you then. Well, you know our phrase, incubate until there's no debate? It's been three months. Yeah, it's now November. I don't think there's any debate whatsoever. Yeah, I don't think anything else is gonna hatch, unfortunately. Yeah, so here are, I'll just open them both up. And you'll kind of see what we mean. Ew. Yeah, they are definitely not going to hatch. No. I mean, we've been checking on them every couple of days just to see if anything was going to hatch until about a couple of weeks ago. We realized, yeah, they're not going to make it. Yeah. So I think it's time to call it quits 
and we're just gonna toss all of these because there's no way any of them are gonna hatch, which is a bummer, but at least Maya and Kana were able to save some lives because yeah. if they hadn't taken these in, the ones that we were able to release wouldn't have made it. There would have been oh, yeah. no chance. They would have chance. just sat on the beach. Something would have either ate them or they would have yep. dried out and yep. died. So. Exactly. At so least some of them made it. Good job, Maya and Kana, for saving the ones that you did. And I'm sorry that you weren't able to join us to release more babies. As no more hatched. Yeah, but maybe if it happens in the future, now we know where a good place to release them is if you find eggs on that same island again, guys. So you'll have to visit there next spring, see if there's any eggs that need saving, and maybe we can do this together next year. But on the plus side, do you remember that deformed snapping turtle baby? Well, we have surprisingly good news. He or she is still alive, actually. I was indifferent to whether or not we were going to cull this baby, but Ed had a soft spot for him. I did. So Ed has taken it upon himself to raise this poor little deformed snapping turtle. I think the verdict was made to keep trying with him after he started eating. Yep. Spontaneous video. Yay! This little guy. The deformed snapper. I noticed that when I pick him up, look at him. He, first off, he's moving around. Yeah, he's doing like amazingly well. Yeah, all things considered. Yeah. When I pick him up, he opens his mouth a little. So we're going to try to sneak in a slug. There you go. Are you eating or did you just chomp to chomp? Here. It's in his mouth. He yeah. might suck it down. Huh, I wonder if he ate that. I guess we'll give him a shot and see if there's leftovers in here when we get back. Yeah. I think he ate that one piece. I think he did too. He did that chomp down. Yeah. That they do. Can you eat this too? Oh! No way. Ooh. Is that a feeding response? It almost looks like a feeding response. Here. There you go. Eat it up. We were not sure what was going to happen, but we knew if we released him, he was going to die, yeah. unfortunately. Um, which is part of the circle of life. It is. He which has is... no eyes. He's got a club foot. But I think that's about all that's wrong with him. His shell's a little wonky. Oh, he's got scoliosis and a kinked tail. Yep. And so, I mean... But, I mean, he's pooping and he eating. Is. He's pooping and eating. Which, which is what you need. Exactly. So, food passes through him, and Ed has fallen in love with the yep. deformed snapping turtle. So, He's been in this little enclosure for a while, well, for a couple months, yeah. because we were just trying to, you know, he's blind, he can't see. That was being warmed by a heat pad underneath, and we were feeding him and seeing, making sure he could live, basically. Yeah, just something small to see how he'd do, and we didn't, we wanted to test how well he could paddle in some very shallow water here, and now that he's proved himself to us, uh, it's time to upgrade this little dude. He does get around. He does, yep. He moves in the water and back up onto the sand. He loves being out of the water. And we're going to move him today to this 10 gallon tank, which I think he is going to love. Also, as far as UVB goes for him, we would take him outside. Yeah, whenever week. we could, yeah. we'd try to move him in the sun in this little container, but we can't do that anymore because yeah, it's, it's too cold. cold. So we figured now is a good time since he can swim, he can eat, he can move around. We're going to put him in a 10 gallon and see how he does from there. Do you want to add some leaves? If you want to. For him to have something to kind of grab onto. Here, we'll throw put, it in the water. Yeah, we'll put this in the water so he has some extra space or extra things to climb on. We have a water heater in here and we're not sure if we're going to use that as his main heat source or an actual basking light. And we're of course going to have UVB on top as well. We really like Arcadia bulbs. They seem to produce a, a high amount of UVB rays. So that should be really good for his shell growth now that we can't bring him outside to get natural UVB. So we're going to see what he thinks of this thing. Hey buddy. Yeah, there's your water right in front of you. You can go in if you want. Hopefully he figures out how to navigate in oh, this he will. new tank. I put deeper, deeper water in. The first time we had him in the little thing, he had like just enough water to submerge his feet. Mm -hmm. And then I started making it so it was above his shell. And he, every time, figured out how to get out of the water or get air. So now we're just going to set up. We've got UVB here. And then I'm not sure if we're going to use this halogen permanently or not. But if we do, that's just going to go over here on the dry side. And then he'll be able to kind of move around. But I want to see how he uses his enclosure as far as heat goes. And we might only use the basking light and might not need the water heater. But we'll see. We'll kind of play around with what works best for him and at least he's still surviving yeah that being said though don't be surprised if you like don't hear updates 
teammates in the future. Like, I'm still not convinced that he's going to make it long term, but Ed's trying his best, and uh, we'll see what he does. So unfortunately, it's kind of a sad ending to this two-part mystery turtle egg saga, but uh, we still had a lot of success with hatching some eggs that were salvaged. Interesting thing is you can see his eyes twitch, so he can still kind of blink of yeah. sorts, even though he has no eyelids, you can see where the eyes should be move when he tries to like blink. Yeah, he's still got like the muscles there. Which is yeah, crazy. yeah, it's really interesting. So we're learning a lot just watching him move around. Mm -hmm. So thank you everybody for following this turtle incubation adventure with us. We're very excited to have been able to hatch quite a few baby turtles, both snappers and false map turtles from this. And even though they didn't all hatch, I'd say it was still a win. Yeah, it's still a success. Mm -hmm. Thank you as always to our lovely Patreon backers for your very generous support, as well as to everyone who's here watching and learning about, in this case, turtles. We'll see you all next time.